Hey everybody, my name's Chris Barber, or Aglor123 on Xbox Live, and I'm one of the founders of CCCB Productions. I'm just making a quick video in response to an internet buddy of mine, a user by the name of Disease, on the Edgeworks Entertainment Forums. There's a topic on those forums about Splinter Cell Conviction, and he asked me to post a video showing how to complete the demo without alerting the guards, but also without the guards seeing a dead body. After a bit of messing around, I figured out a way to do this, so here it is. Now, don't take this as a perfect guide, because it's not, and be sure to play the demo and the actual game your own way. Figuring that out yourself is half the fun. Okay, so let's get started. Now, you can see there are three difficulties, Rookie, Normal, and Realistic. We're going to go with Realistic, because I'm just that awesome. Now, here's just the first cutscene. It details some of the background story and sort of goes over some of the game features in sort of an in-story type of video. And we're going to skip through this because just download the demo. It's free, it's great to play, and if you want to see this, just check it out yourself. Okay, so here we are. And this is just the first bit of gameplay that we have in the demo. It's sort of an interrogation scene, and I don't really need to show this because you really can't go wrong here. It's really just a giant interactive cutscene. And a very violent cutscene and very important to the story, but just a cutscene. And you can really do whatever you want here. There's no wrong answer, there's no wrong choice. You can do whatever you want. You can smash him against the toilet there, you can hit him against the wall while he talks, and while he's answering your questions, these little videos, these projections will come up that will tell the story in a unique way that's never really been done in Splinter Cell before. And, like I said before, there's no way you can really go wrong here. This really doesn't need to be in the guide, but this is just the way I do it. I tend to be a bit more violent with it. I smash him against the wall, knock him through that door, into the stall, scare the little guy inside, hit him against the toilet seats and everything, the urinals, blood everywhere, really just mess the guy up. And usually I like to finish it off by smashing him against the mirror here, and then he goes into the sink and just sort of break his head over it and everything. And then Sam Fisher just picks him up and finishes him off. City, but really, you can't go wrong, and it's just... This is one of the Guards funnest parts of the demo to me, is just walking around and throwing this guy against the wall and everything. Oh, it's just so there. simple that I find it entertaining. Probably because I can't lose. Bad news. Fisher got to Coben. And now here's just sort All of Fisher the first real cutscene in the whole thing. So Interesting thing about... Splinter Cell Conviction is there's no loading screens. It's actually loading while this cutscene is going. I don't care if he's goddamn ecstatic. He's not gonna find out anything about his daughter if you do your job and kill him before he disrupts the EMP. Understood? Alright, so here we go. We finally get to actually play the game. And right there you can see the objective. Disarm the EMP bomb on the side of the warehouse. In Conviction, the objectives are on the objects, like they're being projected onto the objects. Now here's the controller layout. It's kind of different from the other Splinter Cell games, and a lot of other games you don't reload with X, you don't run with the stick or anything like that. You actually reload with the stick. And this first part of the game is pretty simple. You just go through cover to cover and take out the guys. You do take down on the first guy, that unlocks the the execution, which you can then use on those other two guys. And I just sort of take my time going down to take this guy out, get another execution loaded up. Then I mark those two guys and just take them out from a distance where they can't see me. And I make my way into the warehouse. It's pretty easy, this outside part. It's really hard to get spotted. There the objective is peek under the door. I, I just walk in. The guy's always facing away from you. Do another takedown, get another execution saved up. I always put a bullet into this light here so they can't see me coming through. The guy always freaks out, but he doesn't actually do anything. 
Now, so far, I haven't reloaded the gun, and I won't reload it through this whole playthrough. I'll do this whole demo with just one clip. A little personal challenge, I thought it'd be fun to try, and it worked out. Now, with this part, he'll say beta charging or alpha charging or whatever he says. And after that one right in front of you charges and lights up, and it goes dark, go out and follow this guy. He won't start moving until you do. Just take him down, load up another execution, and then mark those three guys and take him out while it's dark. Then you just walk up through because there's a guy in that little control room there who's doing the announcing that you can hear over the intercom. Just slip through, be very careful so he doesn't see you, don't get too close to the window, and just line up a shot, pop him in the head. There's just one guy left in the room, and so we can just go around, sneak around behind him, do another takedown to load up another execution. But you have to stand up and run over this little box here. For some reason you get caught on it if you just sit down and try to crawl your way through. So you just sneak around and as long as your screen is gray that means he can't possibly see you. That means you're in the shadows, you're in the dark, you're safe. So take the guy out and just run. You don't need to worry about stealth anymore because they're all dead. Just run through, go into the control room and jump onto the pipe like the objective says and just head down and we go to the next section of the game. Now, you, you just have to make your way through this. It's pretty simple. It's really just another interactive cutscene. You're walking through and he puts his gun away and everything. You can't really do anything except walk and look around. And it wants you to look at this, watch the bad guy sort of throw the scientist around and everything, threaten to kill her. But you, you can just keep walking. You don't have to sit here and watch that one thing over and over every time you play this. The objective is rescue the scientist. Now, once you leave this, just immediately jump to this pipe and climb up, and then drop down on the catwalk overhead. Now, you can see, as I turn on my sonar goggles here, that there are three guys down there to the right of me. But you don't have to take them out. Just ignore them. It's no problem. Instead, mark the other three guys and keep walking on the catwalk. Then hop up onto the pipes here and just make your way through. There's a little opening that you can see all three of them in. And of course, someone's online. Great. Just use an execution. Take all three of them out and no one's alerted. When you drop down, it, sometimes it won't hurt you, other times it will, and that, that time it hurt when you hit the ground. Just walk around, though. The other three guards, they haven't been alerted to you, and they won't notice. They aren't very observant. Now, the only guy you really have to worry about now is this last one. And I didn't do anything to alert him. They automatically, when you cross that point, it's like there's a trigger or something that just causes them to get really alerted. And he'll come running past you. Just hide behind something and take him out like I did. And that'll load up another execution that you can use on these last three guys. And you can see him, and I'm trying to mark him there, but for some reason it won't let me mark the last guy through the wall. So I have to go around and actually look at him to mark him for execution. And I do that, I look up over the railing, take all three of them out. Still nobody's alerted that I'm actually there. And I just drop over and make a run for the end of the level. Alright, so that's the demo. I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough, this little video. And Splinter Cell Conviction is out now, so be sure to pick it up. And if you're still not sure if you want the game yet, just download the demo. It's free on Xbox Live, and it's only about a gigabyte, I think, for the download, so it's not too bad. And if enough people watch this video, if enough people like it and want to see more, I can uh, make new videos. Maybe this will be the start of a little series of walkthroughs and other things like that. Alright, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.